If you're getting this error, here's a possible solution. So this is a Dell. Um, to get to BIOS, it's F2 or delete, but depending on your laptop, you'll have to figure out. Sometimes it's F1, sometimes it's some other keys like F10 or F9. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the BIOS. So press Control delete for it to restart. Okay, I'm pressing F2. You can see now it says going into setup. And let me see what settings we gotta change. Okay, so since this has Windows 11 on it, or if you have Windows 10, you're going to want to go to the boot sequence here, at least for uh, this Dell. And we're going to change this to UEFI, okay? And now you can see we have the boot manager. This likely fixed the issue. If your computer has it, you'll want to check and see also to make sure that secure boot is on. So let me find that setting real quick. Okay, so down here you can see there's this secure boot option we'll go to secure boot enable and we want to make sure to enable that okay so it says it doesn't work if log, uh, legacy option roms are enabled so to fix that we're going to have to go back to the boot sequence and wait let me find that setting that lets me turn that off okay below the boot sequence there's advanced boot options so we're going to have to uncheck this enable legacy option roms now we can go back to secure boot enable okay we can enable this and now we can apply. Secure boot isn't needed for this specific thing, but it's nice to have it on for Windows. So anyways, we're, I just clicked exit, and now it should boot normally. Okay, let's see. Let's see, I should see the little spinning thing, and that means we're good to go. Yep, there we go. So that fixed it. If anything, if you have this issue, if you can't figure it out, just let me know. But most likely it's going to be similar. You just have to figure out where in the BIOS to change those settings. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. This happened when I was doing a clean install of Windows 11, um, as you can see. But yeah, there you go.